this is the ear. Ear is divided into three parts external ear, middle ear and internal ear. External ear and middle ear are exclusively related with hearing and in internal ear this cochlea is related with hearing and the vestibule is uh, the part of ear which provides information to brain regarding the position and movement of the head. So, these are the three parts of ear. The external ear is again divided into two parts auricle and external acoustic meatus. This tibular canal is called as external acoustic meatus which open outside in the auricle, the concha of auricle and then it is closed from inner side by this eardrum or tympanic membrane. Then this compact cavity is called as middle ear cavity. This middle ear cavity is placed in the petrous portion of temporal bone. Now this is the skull, skull. The we know the three compartments of this cranial cavity anterior, middle and posterior. In between middle and posterior this part is known as petrous portion of temporal bone. This is the temporal bone and this is petrous portion of temporal bone. Within this petrous portion the middle ear cavity and the internal ear are located. Then we can see here is a chain of bones. These bones within the middle ear cavity are called as ossicles. There are three ossicles, malleus which is attached to the tympanic membrane, then middle one is incus and third or innermost is called as steps. So this chain of ossicle on outer side it is attached to the tympanic membrane and the inner bone steps is attached to the window of vestibule. Vestibule is a part of internal ear. Then the middle ear cavity is connected with nasopharynx through this auditory tube. This auditory tube is also called as eustachian tube. The anterior wall of middle ear cavity presents opening of this auditory tube. This auditory tube helps to maintain pressure of air on this eardrum from inner side. This is the internal ear. This internal ear is made up of very complex shape. This is the bony cavity or bony labyrinth which is again divided into three parts called as cochlea which is located anteriorly in this internal ear and then middle part is vestibule and posterior part is called as semicircular canals and the we can see here the eighth cranial nerve called as vestibulocochlear nerve. This is cochlear portion of the vestibulocochlear nerve and this is vestibular part of the nerve. This is the model of ear. In this model this is this part is a auricle outer part then this part is called as external acoustic meatus, external acoustic meatus. In 
it, this meatus is closed from inside by this tympanic membrane this is eardrum or tympanic membrane then this cavity this compact cavity is called as middle ear cavity and three ossicles are located within this cavity and the through this chain of ossicles the sound waves transmitted to this internal ear internal ear located within the petrous portion of temporal bone this is petrous part of temporal bone and these are the cut edges of petrous portion this internal ear is this is bony labyrinth and this is divided into three parts this is cochlea this part is called as vestibule and these are the semi circular canals this now is auditory now or vestibulo cochlea now sound waves traveling through air reach to this part of ear and the waves striking to this eardrum and produce vibrations these vibrations are transmitted to the internal ear through this chain of ossicle because the handle of malleus is attached to eardrum or tympanic membrane and the step closes the window of this vestibule anteriorly this vestibule is continue with the cochlea right so the sound waves are transmitted through this chain of ossicle to the internal ear then this cochlea transforms the mechanical vibrations into nerve impulses these impulses travel through the cochle cochlear part of the vestibulo cochlear now to reach the brain and then the actual perception of sound wave takes place in the auditory area of cerebral cortex right